Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to completely uninstall or remove stubborn printer drivers from your computer. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start button. And you want to left click on it one time to open it up. And now you want to type in MMC. And the best metric comes up should say MMC directly above run command. You want to left click on that one time to open it up and you might receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC. You want to select yes. So now you want to go up to the file tab up here. So left click on that. And now you want to left click on add slash remove snap in. You want to go down to get to print manager. So left click on that. And then click on this add button right here. Now you want to select add the local server. Click on finish and click on OK. So now you want to expand the print management area over here on the left by either double clicking on it or clicking on the little arrow next to it. And now you want to do the same thing for print servers right here. And now you want to left click on whatever says local in here. So in my case, my computer is called desktop PLCECT8. So I'm going to click on that. And now you want to go down and left click on the printers area right here. So we can see all of our printer drivers are listed in here. If you wanted to delete one, you can just right click on it. And then left click on delete. If there was one that was being stubborn and you were receiving an error message saying that it was unable to be deleted, you might have to stop the print explorer service. And that can be easily achieved by heading back to the star menu and typing in services. Again, right above desktop app. And you want to left click on it. Scroll down here until you get to print spoiler. Click on stop the service. And now go back into this management window and now try and delete. If you're still unable to delete it, what I recommend doing is one, you click on start the service again, which I would recommend you do anyway after you're done just to make sure everything's working right. But let's say you want to start the service. While it's starting the service right here, you want to go in and delete it. So if you want to have both these windows side by side, you're more than welcome to do that as a third option. And maybe that would help fix your problem as well. So I know sometimes you actually have to be in the process of starting the service when you're trying to delete the driver. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I've noticed it has worked in the past for me. But I do want to just put that out there. I hope one of these methods worked for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.